with all respect, <clears throat> let's stay with a theme that we've started here and stay with the new elected leaders and their profiles. 68 new MPs will be shuttling between courts fighting all manner of charges, including fraud, murder, defilements, corruption, while busy as well serving the electorate. Tonight, let's focus on two. One is the new, le new elected governor of Kakamega County, Fernandez Baraza. Congratulations to him, by the way. Is the new governor of Kakamega County. Before this, he was the CEO of Kenya Electricity uh, Transmission Company, Ketraco. Before that, he was the at the Kenya Tea Development Agency Limited, KTDA. And before that, he was at the Kenya Airways and East African Reassurance. Basically, he's a man who knows how to get public jobs. But let's focus for a minute on his last Ketraco, last appointment at Ketraco, his last public service, before being rewarded by the great people of Kamega County. So he quit his job as CEO earlier than expected because he wanted to vie for the seat he has just won. It was a way, uh, way before IBC's timeline for candidates to have resigned to vie for the political seats. The question is why? Well, a very little story for a minute. This one involving another governor candidate who has also won his seat, and that's new Mobasa governor on the screen now, Abdul Swamad Nasir. So, under Abdul Swamad was the Public Investment Committee chairman, and the PIC was conducting a little investigation. A special audit raised by the Auditor General had landed on PIC's desk. The special audit by the PIC of the Lake Turukana Wind Power Project, LTWP, stay with me, had raised several issues. First, the project was the single largest private partnership in Kenya, and the committee was told that no risk analysis was carried out to establish challenges to the project the project would have had. Secondly, the committee sought to establish how a project meant to alleviate energy costs in the country ended up doing the exact opposite. It added additional avoidable financial burden to the government and the Kenyan taxpayer. Thirdly, and most importantly, Ketraco initiated excess payments of over 785 million shillings to the Lecturukana Wind Power Project. That's LTWP. And it, that was for one project alone. Well, you ask, how does that happen? I want to answer that question too. Well, with all these questions needing answers from the accounting officer, Mr. Fernandez Baraza, the new governor of Kakamega County, he quit and promptly announced his interest in Kakamega County gubernatorial seat. PSC Chairman Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir questioned Baraza's resignation, saying that he vacated office weeks before the deadline set by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, for public servants eyeing elective seats. He said, and I quote, I find it a bit worrying that the MD resigned before he met us. That's what he said. Nasir's sentiments were echoed by Likoni MP Mishimboko, who wondered whether Baraza was avoiding MPs to escape grilling. And I quote, he says, I don't know whether he's part of the cartel or not. We are just surprised by his move. That's what she said. The PIC, however, went ahead in its report, dated 31st May 2022, and signed by the chair, and it recommended the following, that the ESCC should investigate the Ketraco CEO, Fernandez Baraza, on contract management and implementation of the project because it costs taxpayers money. Mr. Baraza, on his part, said this. Well, I saw no issues at all, whatsoever. Anybody who thinks that I stole money should go to court and sue me. I'm ready to face any panel to clear my name, said Mr. Baraza. Well, he wouldn't be facing any panel. He's the Kakamega County governor-elect. Let's focus on the second one for a minute. The great people of Mogotio constituency, Bomet County, elected Ruben Kiborek as their new MP on UDA ticket. Mr. Kiborek has been an aide to a former cabinet secretary, and he had profiled himself as a jubilee politician before his election as MP for Mogotio constituency. On December 23, 2018, Mr. Kiborek was accused of intentionally and unlawfully defiling a child of a 16-year-old in Nakuru County. Charge sheet seen by court reporters also indicated he faced an alternative charge of committing an indecent act with a child. The crime is said to have been committed at Sarova Woodlands Hotel in Nakuru. Mr. Kiborek was arrested uh, and held four hours by police as investigations were done at Bodeni Police Station 
where he subsequently presented in court and denied the charges before the resident magistrate Yvonne Hatambi. Through his lawyer, Kiborek pleaded with the court to release him on reasonable bond terms, saying he was a Kenyan, not a flight risk. He pleaded he was willing to comply with orders and would attend court and align this when required. His father, who was in court, said he would ensure his son attended court. The court heard that the accused was young and is in the process of setting up his life and therefore deserved release on bond. Kiborek was released on a bond of 300,000 shillings with a surety of similar amount. However, this would be the last time the courts would see the new MP for Mogotio constituency. The case has been adjourned for a record 12 times over reasons that the victims say cannot be justified and an obvious abuse of privilege and power. In a letter addressed to the court administrator, lawyer Donald Rabala for the family complained of what he termed unnecessary delays that has rocked the matter, saying, and I quote, justice delayed is justice denied. The delaying tactics have now lasted for the last three and a half years. It is not only prejudicial to the minor, but an affront and a blatant show of disrespect to the girl child who only seeks justice from the court. Justice delayed is justice night, he said. The case has never picked up and there's no reason to believe it will progress now that the Meshmiwa will be very busy making very good laws for you on this country and obviously talking about integrity and all matter of things. However, and as you say here, the people have spoken. That's God's case, no appeal. With all due respect, my name is James Match. Do have a lovely night. Thank you very much to my guests.